Hello, I'm in Brooklyn um, on my last day. Woo. Going for a big run later on. <laughs> I got some, some pretty jazzy running trousers on. Uh, but I thought I'd do a little video for you. Uh, um, we've had a lot of people asking us a lot of questions. So let's get those videos done before I get red faced, uh, before we fly back. But next time I'm going to Rio, so life is good. And you know what? Property did all this. Property allowed me to take my family to Brooklyn. Property is gonna allow me to go and enjoy the Olympics in Rio. How lucky. Okay, so one of the questions we get asked is, I got a full-time job, how can I start? You know, I need to pay for my family or I need to pay for my expenses, so I can't leave my job yet. How can I start in property? I'm not gonna tell you it's easy, because it's not. It's how I did it. Um, I worked 5 a.m till like 7, 7.30 and then I did the kids and the breakfast and you know sent them to school and then went to work for the first time ever ever in my life I took a lunch break at my day job and I took about 45 minutes I used to cycle to a cafe um, zoom to the cafe do 45 minutes bit of work with my computer and then zoom back go back to the day job and then when I finished do all the family stuff which was lovely and when the kids were in bed go back to work um, knackered <laughs> what does that mean it means your friends are going to be beautiful to you because you're not going to see them and it's probably a sensible idea to explain to them what's going to happen and ask them to remain friends and um, my friends were adorable and they were very very supportive but i hardly saw them for about 18 months um, so it meant a real sacrifice uh, with the people i love uh, who are my friends the second thing is i didn't have enough sleep I was knackered and then I would work Saturdays uh, completely all day because my kids were kind of 12 you know that kind of age so like mom was cool but she ain't that cool <laughs> so so Saturdays like mom <laughs> want to go and hang out with their friends but Sundays I was totally insistent was a family day you know Sunday roast chilling out spending time getting ready for school had to be family day so Sundays were sacrosanct Saturdays I probably worked golly 12 16 hours you know, just took the whole day and worked it in between cooking and getting the family sorted. So, uh, and on, you know, in, in being doing that, I was able to do about 30 hours a week. So as you can tell, if you do the maths on top of a full-time job and a family, pretty much for 18 months property was what I did. Um, so I started off doing that and uh, I hate to tell you but there's no quick fix because out of time, money and skills, time is your game changer. The more time you can put into this property business, the better. Uh, I started off by doing one meeting a month and again the game changer for me was when I moved from one meeting a month, I'll wait for him to go by, bye bye, to one property meeting a week because I met so many more people. I learned so much more stuff, I ended up with more investors, but it was more just the whole immersive experience of being around people who did property, who understood property, who didn't think it was a crazy thing to do, who could teach me loads of stuff, which was amazing. Um, and then the next thing I did was for a period of time, I took my pension, um, uh, and uh, sorry, I took my salary and I put half of my salary into my pension because I'm still working a full-time kind of normal job which taught me to live on very little. <laughs> Always handy when you're about to start up a property business because you're gonna be living on very little. See, there's a very sexy message on running a startup property a business. And what that did was it helped build up my pension. See, you know, being a bit sensible, but it also allowed me the practice of not thinking, oh my God, I'm losing so much money. I'm never gonna be able to support my family on it. And then I was very grateful and actually they were very cool. I asked my employer, could I work four days a week? So for the last period of time before I jumped out of my job, it took me about 18 months from starting my property business to jumping out my job. I worked four days a week, which just gave me more time. And on the uh, Friday, I worked like stink on my property business and I just brought more time in. So no TV, I mean, literally no TV, um, very little social life, but thank goodness for really adorable friends. Um, pure commitment around the family, so Sundays were sacrosanct and it was literally 5am, 45 minutes of lunchtime, as soon as the kids were in bed, evenings, all day Saturday and then later on, uh, on the Friday when I was uh, lucky enough to be given four days a week. So it's not easy, but the game changes I found were number, oh look at this, they're sh I'm in Brooklyn, they're shooting films. <laughs> but they're proper. <laughs> they're not, I haven't just got an iPhone with a little mic. Um, well, let's go and see what they're shooting. So um, the game changes for me were, hi guys. Hello. Hello. Good morning. 
morning. Good morning. And the game changers were number one, putting time into it. I actually kept a marker, you know, one, two, three, four, gate, or one, two, three, four, yeah, gate, one, two, three, four, gate. And I just n marked off how many hours a week I was working. And I was working about 30 hours a week on my property business on top of my day job. And then the second game changer for me was not being frightened of living on very little money. And that's why I put 50% of my salary into a pension for quite a long time before I jumped out my job. And there's a very good website, it's Tim Ferriss, The 4 Hour Working Week. He actually has a kind of lifestyle calculator, which sounds very fancy, but I found it really useful. You just stick in everything and he, you know, he doesn't let you skimp everything that'd be really useful you for you and your lifestyle and you actually end up realizing that your kind of perfect lifestyle doesn't cost as much as you think so i hope that's helpful and maybe you guys might monitor how many hours a week you work on property try and hit 30 as a very minimum oh sorry and then the third game changer was moving from one property event a week a month to one property event a week so 30 hours a week on top of a day job 50% of my salary into a pension so that I lived on an awful lot less and discovered that we could and um, we were still just as happy and then going from one property meet a month to one property meet a week and actually the one that totally changed my life was Berkshire because that's where I met my mentor and I think those guys were amazing. All right hope that's helpful speak soon bye.